you were a Republican most of your life, uh, but voted for, and you may still consider yourself one, but voted for Biden in 2020. Do you intend to vote for him again? Or is there anyone on the Republican side you might consider if it's not Trump? It has to be Joe Biden. And, and I'm glad he's willing to serve. It has to be somebody committed to the rule of law, committed to the values of this country. And I, I'm not talking about policy. People can disagree about policy. There are things above those disagreements that all of us should think about the same way. The president must be someone who abides the law and our constitution. And there's no one else but Joe Biden. Believe what you just heard. Now I got several clips I want you to listen to because I want to show you how far this country has fallen. When you got a man named James Cummings who instigated all this Russian collusion, he says that in 2024, it must be Joe Biden because Joe Biden is committed to the rule of law. Now, this this Jan Psaki is supposed to be a journalist, which is laughable, because why didn't she ask him, since they're so concerned about classified documents with Donald Trump, they're so concerned about rule of law, do you not understand that the Biden family had 26, I'm sorry, 20 LLCs that we know about so far that Hunter Biden was taking bribes and kickbacks from foreign entities and depositing it and giving to family members. And James coming with a straight face, Mr. Integrity says that we must elect Joe Biden because Joe Biden is committed to rule of law. You can't make this stuff up. He said that with a straight face, and he was actually, he may believe his own lies. I don't know. He's so reprobate at this point. Sitting up there looking like a broke down Mr. Rogers or something, looking like a six foot seven Mr. Rogers with his leg crossed, acting as if he just made a factual statement that we must elect Joe Biden, whose mind is gone. We'll ignore that fellow who keeps falling down. Who needs to be told when he enters the room, sit down, shut up, speak to people, leave the room. And James Cummings, the former head of FBI, the phony Russian collusion James Cummings, the same fellow who led Hillary Clinton off the hook with all the evidence and says no reasonable prosecutor, he said must be Joe Biden because Joe Biden is the only one that would uphold rule of law. You can't make this stuff up. Comes for... The rule of law, the system of justice, and the agencies with a flamethrower. He will come and try to criticize and attack your family, your witnesses. There are no limits to what he will try to do to obstruct an effort to hold him accountable. But I'm sure they're prepared for that. It's one of the reasons I'm sure they're being careful to make sure all their I's are dotted. Right. And he says that Donald Trump comes for the rule of law with a flamethrower. He says, Trump will attack your family, your witness, and everything else. Is this, is she supposed to be a journalist? What about the FBI torching right now the whistleblowers who exposed their corruption and covering up for senile Joe Biden? But he says that Donald Trump will attack anybody and everybody. You mean like y'all did for anybody associating with the Trump? Uh, administration right before he came in office, after he was in office? You mean the phony investigations for like three or four years, special prosecutor, special counsel, Bob Mueller, your dear friend, you leak classified information? You talking about that rule of law? When Donald Trump may be the nominee. So I think they are likely working very, very hard and trying to get ahead of where the even the normal pace of an investigation might be. Can you envision a scenario where Trump manages to win back the White House and justice is delayed? I could. I don't I don't want to, but I could. I mean, it's this crazy world that Donald Trump has dragged this country into, but he could be wearing an ankle bracelet while accepting the nomination at the Republican convention. Damn man, he has no conscience, I'm telling you. He says this is a crazy world that Donald Trump has dragged this country into. Why didn't she ask him, was that really Russian collusion? Did you ever believe that was Russian collusion? How did Donald Trump drag the country into this when you guys was issuing Pfizer warrants or going to go get Pfizer warrants and, and the person that you were taking the information was from actually worked for you? Hillary was hiring like Sussman. Sussman met with James Baker, the attorney for the FBI, gave him information on Alpha Bank, 
He was later later was indicted for lying to the FBI. They admit he actually lied, but they didn't charge him anyway. And he says Donald Trump has drug us here. You guys investigated him with a phony dossier. So you think the FBI is smart. You think they're credible. Well, either they're stupid or they're corrupt. Pick your choice. And if they're stupid, they shouldn't actually be getting funds because you're telling me that a phony dossier about hookers peeing on beds or whatever, you guys was tricked by that. But all the text messages and emails shows that you guys knew there was no evidence. Andrew, uh, Andrew uh, McKay, he, he admitted there was no effort, uh, evidence without the phony dossier. He couldn't even got a, a Pfizer warrant. And he says Donald Trump is the one dragging us into this situation right here. He don't want to even imagine Donald Trump being in office because it's Donald Trump's fault. He's the one who caused these issues. Talking about the pot calling the kettle black. Be wearing an ankle bracelet and be elected in November. Yeah, we could have, it would be rejected if you put it in a script for a show, but you could have a president who is potentially incarcerated when he's elected president. So that would be weird and awkward. And it seems even crazy to be coming out of my mouth, but that's the situation we face. It looks like the Republicans will likely nominate someone who is under serious cred criminal investigation, is indicted, and who knows where yeah, that's man, going. man, he has no conscience, I'm telling you. He says this is a crazy world that Donald Trump has dragged this country into. Why didn't she ask him, was that really Russian collusion? Did you ever believe that was Russian collusion? How did Donald Trump drag the country into this when you guys was issuing Pfizer warrants or going to go get Pfizer warrants and, and the person that you were taking the information was from actually worked for you? Hillary was hiring like Sussman. Sussman met with James Baker, the attorney for the FBI, gave him information on Alpha Bank. He was late, later was indicted for lying to the FBI. They admit he actually lied but they didn't charge him anyway. And he says Donald Trump has drug us here. You guys investigated him with a phony dossier. So you think the FBI is smart. You think they're credible. Well, either they're stupid or they're corrupt. Pick your choice. And if they're stupid, they shouldn't actually be getting funds because you're telling me that a phony dossier about hookers peeing on beds or whatever, you guys was tricked by that. But all the text messages and emails shows that you guys Knew there was no evidence. Andrew uh, Andrew uh, McKay, he, he admitted there was no effort, uh, evidence without the phony dossier. He couldn't even got a, a Pfizer warrant. And he says Donald Trump is the one dragging us into this situation right here. He don't want to even imagine Donald Trump being in office because it's Donald Trump's fault. He's the one who caused these issues. Talking about the pot calling the kettle black. You said that Trump poses a near existential threat to the rule of law. And, and this is something, similar language that I hear privately from national security officials, some people you and I both know, who will say this privately about what a second term could mean. But tell me a little bit about the specifics of what he could try to do. What do you mean by that? Well, think about what four years of a retribution presidency might look like. He could order the investigation and prosecution of individuals who he sees as enemies. I'm sure I'm on the enemies list because the president constitutionally does oversee the executive branch entirely. He's asking which all the questions about Donald Trump. None of these questions is pertaining to what Joe Biden has done. LLCs, bribe, kickbacks, using his office to get his family rich. He had classified information to everything you can name. But he says Donald Trump, and she says, a lot of people are saying this privately too. She's supposed to be a reporter. <laughs> She's supposed to be an unbiased reporter. This is laughable. He's an existential threat. She said, he said, James Cummings says, because another term of Donald Trump, this is why I told you they can't let him back in there. Another term of Donald Trump would be like retribution. Because he said, he said that he would go out to get his enemies. You mean you guys who broke the law? You're our enemies, too, because you broke the law. Everything the FBI did, Donald, Donald Trump, before he got in office and after he got out of office, they were breaking the law. So it's not retribution. It's actually justice. Because you're the guys who broke every law in order to try to bring down a duly elected president. Now, let's not forget, Hillary paid for the document. 
But if she was really a journalist, she would also ask them about the 51 uh, former Intel community folks. Do they still have their clearance, by the way? Oh, they do. So they didn't get their clearances pulled, but their whistleblowers did. So ask him, why did 51 Intel community folks sign their name that it wasn't Hunter Biles' laptop? Now we know it was Hunter Biles' laptop. She's not ask, asking these questions. Just like you guys knew that it was no Russian collusion, Hillary paid for it. Her lawyer, Seussman, went and lied to James Baker, was, was legal counsel for the FBI. And you guys ignored all that evidence, and now you're talking about Donald Trump as an existential threat. No, you guys are scared because now he see what you really are, and you may get prosecuted. But it's not retribution. I call it justice. It's the Department of Justice, prosecutors and investigators. And so he could commission direct that individuals be pursued. He could also direct all kinds of other conduct that people would maybe take to court to try to stop. But who enforces court orders? Mm -hmm. Mostly the United States Marshals Service, which is in part of the executive branch, reports to the president. And so President Trump could say, I don't care what the Supreme Court says or these district judges say. I'm telling the Marshals Service, don't enforce the court order. And so our Constitution really does give a rogue president, which is what this would be, tremendous power to destroy. And so that's why I'm trying to warn people. Given the way he said he intends to operate if he's reelected, this will be something we could never have imagined. So technically what he's saying now is that Joe Biden, who, well, technically whoever's in charge of Joe Biden, who has used the DOJ and the FBI to go after his enemies, whistleblowers and everybody else, but you're saying Donald Trump getting back in there to go after the people who really broke the law, that would be wrong. You, did any of these people break the law you're talking about? See, it's one thing if he goes after them and they haven't broken the law. You broke the law. Andrew McKay, Peter Strzok, FBI, all these CIA folks, all you guys broke the law. You broke the law to protect a man that you say has integrity and respect for the law and American values. A man who takes showers with his daughter, Joseph Biden. A, a man who's been in bed with China, and in bed with Russia, in bed with Ukraine. Did she ask him about the twenty one of those labs that Hunter Biden it has uh was making money off? Did she ask him about Burisma? Did she ask him about all these LLCs and documentation to prove the Biden family was getting rich, including grandkids getting money deposited for them? Since you're concerned with the rule of law. No, no, it's not reprobation, repro, repro, reprobution, it's justice. You guys will be finally getting what you deserve. And now they're all in an uproar. They're in a tizzy now because justice may be served. So I told you, they got to kill him. They can't let him back in there now because now he's saying the quiet part out loud. Because despite history, we desperately don't want to be involved in election time investigations mm -hmm. and near them. And so they are feeling something else that won't be talked about publicly, but I just know the system. Mm. They're feeling intense pressure to move, to move, to move. So they're not in the position of making a charging decision next year. That'd be one of the, the biggest liars I've ever seen. I mean, I, I, I don't know how he has a conscience. He says that they don't really want to be about, involved in election interference. That's on the damn thing the FBI has, has been doing. Since Donald Trump came on the scene, they was doing it before the end. They did it back in the days of J. Edgar Hoover. But he seems to act like he thinks we, they want to hurry up and get this out the way. They're dragging this damn thing over. Every case, they're just dragging it on. The one in Atlanta says we might do it, wait till this summer and file charges. Well, the election... They already starting the primary right here pretty soon, and you saying you want to wait, but he's pretending as if they want to hurry and move this on. Something wrong with this man. He actually think he has integrity. Again, it seems like science fiction in a way, but it's what another four years of Donald Trump really promises, which is why people criticize CNN for their town hall. I want the American people to stare at the threat that we're facing and understand that they cannot take the next election. Clown says that another term of Donald Trump would be like science fiction. You got a, an insane, incompetent president who has to be told to sit down when he enters the room, he has to be given cue cards on who's to ask question to, he has to read it verbatim, 
He has to be told to speak when he enters the room. He falls down continuously. And he says this is like a sci-fi movie if Donald Trump comes back in office. This fellow right here is unconscionable, if I must say so myself. One of the focuses that seems to have faded from the headlines is the threat of Russia uh, intervening in our electoral process and system. You know, Trump recently said that Ukraine uh, wouldn't say if Ukraine should prevail over Russia. Uh, given his affinity for Putin and his outlook on the war, do you expect or should we expect Russia to interfere on his behalf in 2024 if he's the nominee? Yes, of course. I mean, Vladimir Putin does not want Joe Biden to be president of the United States for reasons that I hope the American people see. Well, I swear I feel like I'm in La La Land. This woman brings up Russia again, and he says, yes, I agree that Russia is going to interfere again. We haven't even proved they interfered in 2016, because technically if she was a real journalist, she would ask James Cummings, did you guys look at the uh, server, the so-called server that Hillary put, the unsecured server in the restroom? Have you guys even ever examined it? No, they haven't. So how can they say Russian interfered when you never examined the freaking server? But she keeps saying, he says that Vladimir Putin does not want Joe Biden to be president. Joe Biden's not the damn president. You think Vladimir Putin is scared of Joe Biden? Are you freaking kidding me? This fella has to be told what to do. He, when he goes to the restroom, he can't wipe his own behind. You think Vladimir Putin is sitting around worrying about Joe Biden, he's not worrying about Joe Biden, he's worrying about our intel community, who's dirty because Joe Biden's not in charge of anything. And this fool seems to try to want us to believe that he thinks that Vladimir Putin is afraid of Joe Biden. Well, I guess China is afraid of him too, huh? Can't make it up. Because he acts in our national interest, he would very much like Donald Trump to be president again, because Donald Trump is, for reasons I still can't explain, a very, very fond of Vladimir Putin. And so they will find ways to interfere. I hope our intelligence community is equipped to respond, maybe better than we did in 2016, but they'll come for this. Yes, right here needs to be arrested for high treason. When he was the FBI, he was head of the FBI, FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, counterintelligence officer Superman Peter Straw. Analyst Brian Uten, Justice Attorney Klein, uh, Kevin Kleinsmith, they pretended like this Igor Dzinski intel was credible. And the only reason they tried to pretend like it was credible so they can keep wiretapping the Carter pages. And they kept getting approvals to go and uh, surveillance these people when they knew they hadn't broken any law. They knew it was a lie from the beginning. So technically what this was was a coup. She never asked him, was there any credible evidence that you saw that proves that the Trump administration was in bed with Russia? Any evidence? Because your good friend Bob Mueller spent almost two years, didn't come up with anything. You guys lied and, and did another two years. You had the media involved. And y'all came up with zero. But what we did find out, even though John Durham is a fraud, was protecting y'all, we find out that the former FBI people did not want to cooperate with him. Fusion GPS, who Hillary hired, didn't cooperate with him. He didn't subpoena them and force them to testify. But we do know that you guys were paying Christopher Steele, this Igor fella, and we already knew that the evidence that you guys had was false and you get on tv and you write a book and they give these people book deals and teaching at university talking about integrity when these are the folks who have destroyed any credibility that the fbi had remaining any credibility that the cia had remaining it's been done after the 2016 and the 2000 and 20 election. You can't even redeem yourself because you keep lying. We caught you lying time and time again. 51 agents signed and said this is not Hunter Biden's laptop without even looking at it. James Cummings and that FBI pretended like the Russians hacked and they never even saw it. Then they pretended like this, this dossier was credible in order to keep surveillancing the Trump 
uh, members of his particular uh, cabinet. And yet he gets on TV now and he pretends as if he's the one that was fighting to uphold justice. And he thinks that Joe Biden will help save this country. A man who cannot even wipe his own behind is going to save the country. We are indeed in trouble.